Okay. Uh, hi, this is Eli here again. What's up, guys? Uh, so uh, today I wanted to uh, just kind of jump off of what we were talking about the other day in, in, in terms of uh, fear. And um, <laughs> I can't even spell the word F E A R. Uh, so uh, in, in terms of fear and, and dealing with fear from maybe an art perspective or that sort of thing. So when we talked about it, Get rid of that because we don't need fear. Fear's in the background. Fear's in the past. So, one of the things and techniques that we can do is is start looking at the greats. And down here, you have examples of what we're going to be doing today. Um, but these are basically going to be five minutes max. I would max do these in in ten minutes. But these are short little compositions. And really, what you're doing is you're you're going to be looking at um, the greats. Um, really kind of the, uh, the, the start to illustration um, in the early 20th century. So one of the things is, and also the late uh, 19th century, um, but uh, also an artist that you'd be looking at would be included like John Singer Sargent, um, Howard uh, Pyle, uh, Harvey Dean, um, Mead, maybe Mead Schaefer. Anyway, I'll leave a link for my YouTube crowd. I'll leave a link in there. Um, or just a, maybe a, a bit of a description of uh, those artists that you might look like, look at. Um, and if you look like them, that'd be pretty cool too. <laughs> um, but also, uh, now, Eli, so one question might come up is that, hey, Eli, why, why would I be looking at these grades? I want to be looking at these really cool artists that um, uh, like uh, uh, Dikrian or, or maybe even... Um, you know, maybe Jim Lee or some of these other big time comic book artists and those sort of things. And that's important as well. And you definitely want to do that. And you definitely want to keep sort of a, a hero's list along with sort of the idea of a uh, uh, studying the greats, um, such as we have here over here with the, uh, uh, the Parthenon, um, the idea of Mount Olympus and all these sort of things. And so the reason why you're going to look at these greats is because you want to ha have them help you understand composition. And really to understand composition, you have to understand um, darks and lights and, and gray tones. And those are the, going to be the kind of the keys to understanding these. So I'm going to hide these for just a second here. And then we're going to start with a new, just a new, and I'm going to start basically with a uh, just a black, um, turn off all my uh, pressure sensitive stuff and really to accomplish this you're basically what you're going to do is you're going to squint your eyes um, when you squint your eyes it helps you basically see the the dark tones the light tones and the the gray tones it, it really breaks it down into kind of those those three categories so we're going to try to do this. Oh, set my timer here. So we're going to trace, basically kind of try to do this in about five minutes, really, really fast. And it's not going to leave you a lot of time to worry about, you know, all the, um, all the details that if you make a mistake, you know what, so be it. We're just going to move on and, and just go right over the top of it. Um, see, I don't even know what dimensions I'm doing this in. Right. Tons of mistakes there. No big deal. We're not concerned about it. We're just going to move on. And also, I would work with, uh, I'm currently using, you can see some here, some sort of charcoal um, brush. But honestly, whatever brush you feel comfortable with, it really doesn't matter. So let's get started and get rocking here. So five minutes on the roll here. And like I said, you're just going to start with your darks and just kind of um, move on from there. And again, you're, you're squinting, you're looking at your quick overall and just determining where your lights are, where your darks are. And you might dress your brush eyes just a little bit, but not a whole lot. Again, you're not going to get perspective correct and all this sort of stuff. We're, we're just getting down the information. You're just trying to figure it out. How the, how the heck did he organize this? And generally what I like to do is start with the, the darks. 
start with the darks and the reason is is because you're going to you're going to find those the the quickest and they kind of and again I'm bleeding over the top here he didn't right here don't worry about those details so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our gray tones I'm just doing this right at 50% gray. And really, you'll start noticing just all the different things that like, oh, I need to do this, I need to do this. Again, at this point in time, you are seriously not concerned about it at all. And really, I'm going to put on the self the pressure sensitive stuff right now. Yeah, so I'm just trying to blend here. I'm just just trying to figure it out, guys. Nothing, nothing extraordinary here. Again, this is under in five minutes. You're just trying to figure this out in five minutes as quick as you possibly can. So it's not quite a white. I'm just trying to figure out any of the gray tones at this point. We'll get to the whites and the highlights later. And really what you want to do is I would almost put the, the highlights last. And I'm just this is also the other thing you want to think about it is really in just in terms of a just a gesture, this is a quick drawing. Right. And so then from here, I can figure out, okay, where my highlights are and start laying those in. And that will help me get better definition. Again, you're just trying to figure out how they compositionally put this together. You start recognizing little things like where the light's coming from, all that sort of cool stuff. All right, so sitting at somewhere about 40 seconds left. So this is quick. You can see it's extremely quick. So I zoomed out there. So there's my alarm. So you can see there that I, there's some really cool information here. This definitely needs more work, but that's okay. You kind of figure out just overall compositionally what's actually happening um, in this work. And then the next stage would, you know, start adding more of the grays into this area and start defining this area. Because you can see that right here where this light hitting um, this pillar is really starting to do some pretty cool stuff. And so that's kind of the basic here where that I did the same thing with these other paintings too um, uh, here in Photoshop and really you don't have to use Photoshop you can use charcoal you can use pencil you can use pen it really doesn't matter 
um, just kind of breaking down the lights, the darks, and the gray tones of where everything is. And you're not looking for perfection. You're not looking for a perfect anatomy and a facial structure and all this sort of stuff. Um, you're not you're not worried about like for example if this is a a, a lady that is in um, her her early twenties <laughs> she doesn't look like this where she's like she looks like a she she might be in her her sixties uh, or some sort of thing so you're not worried about those details you're worried about the composition your lights your darks and just overall figuring it out so the key to this is exactly that. And uh, get over the fear. Just dive in and start having fun, guys. We'll check you next time. Bye.